Okay, some quick NFL Combine house cleaning on Carson Wentz. I want to emphasize this for people who don't listen to the video that I made before on Carson Wentz. My point is that Carson Wentz has not faced top-tier college-level competition. Therefore, the big unknown is how he will adjust to NFL speed. Okay? Because he hasn't gone through that trial by fire, it is intellectually irresponsible to elevate him from second-tier status to top-tier at the NFL draft or prior to the NFL draft at the Combine. Completely ridiculous. Make him earn his spot. Otherwise, it's just marketing. We, we go through this every year in some kind of way. It's got to stop. It's got to stop. I have nothing personally against the fellow, except for something that is beyond his control. This hype is ridiculous. Now, as far as Trevor Boykin, I made the point before, I'll make it again. Trevor Boykin is at the NFL Combine. Yes, he made a horrible mistake. He made a stupid one. Now, would I at draft him at the second round or the third round, given what he did? I will say, absolutely unequivocally, no. Fifth round, sixth round, perhaps. I consider it if he was still there. And from the looks of things, unless he has a great interview, one of those boffle interviews that says, hey, you know what? I screwed up. These are the pressures I was going through. Those pressures are relieved. And that will never happen in my life again. And I will sign a contract to that. If he says all that and beyond, and he's taken. But if he's still there, then I'll make him sign that contract. But the bottom line is, all that aside, he, Trevor Boykin, is at the NFL Combine. And therefore, you are going to be forced to, you and I, watch his performance. That's just the way it is.